that you have a hair routine so a hair routine might look like um you washing your hair say twice a month that is like in every two weeks or you washing your hair once a week or even maybe two times a week you don't have to wash your hair every day particularly hair grows well if it's well taken care of and if it is healthy okay so products alone are not going to help your hair grow you need to make sure that you drink water and you stay hydrated and that you also watch your diet okay so when it comes to hair loss a lot of things are factors it could be over manipulation um how you manipulate your hair if you do it wrongly it might lead to breakage and actually your hair not growing well an example is detangling your hair while dry right so that is also damaging um or to the hair so when you have a good hair routine and you are using proper product according to your hair type and your hair porosity then your hair is definitely going to grow so i'm going to start with the products that i use to wash my hair so the shampoos that i use to wash my hair are different according to what my hair looks like at the at the moment or at the time so when my hair is very dirty and my hair has a lot of product in it and has like product build up i do go in with a clarifying shampoo that is a shampoo that contains sulfate so what that does is it strips off oil of all the oils and the product of all of your hair and even strips off your hair's natural oils but which is where conditioner comes in so you don't need to worry about that so the clarifying shampoos that i use are these ones this is the first one by tresemme i know this is not for natural hair and maybe a lot of naturals might argue but this is my favorite conditioner of all times the slip in this conditioner is amazing i don't even need to go over with it um for the second time only just one wash with this i am good to go so the second clarifying shampoo that i use is this one by monarch cosmetics so this shampoo is infused with african black soap and it's said to be 100% organic. What I love about this is how it leathers onto my hair as well. I love me a shampoo that leathers well because it actually allows you to wash your hair thoroughly and very easily. So on days when I feel like I'm just doing a normal wash and my hair is not that dirty, I do use sulfate-free shampoos. And my favorite shampoos are ones. This is the Afri True Naturals. Um shampoo that is hydrating and softening it is for kinky and coily air this is shea butter and coconut oil so i love this very much for my hair because um it sort of provides that hydration to the hair okay it makes my hair soft compared to um the other shampoos that i use it it sort of leaves my hair feeling a little bit soft another sulfate free shampoo that i use is by african lily so this is said to be hydrating, right? And there is no lie there, I tell you. So this is also um, salvage free. It is said to be hydrating and nourishing. You want to use shampoos that will hydrate your hair. You want to use shampoos that will make your hair feeling much softer, you know, so that your hair is more manageable. So now let's move on to conditioner. This is a hydrating salvage free conditioner by African Lily as well. And this is another one from Monarch Cosmetics. Between the two, my favorite might be just this one. So the trick when it comes to conditioner is that um, you want to leave conditioner for longer on your hair. Depending on the hair type that you have and the hair porosity that you have, you might wanna say if you have low porosity hair you might wanna infuse heat onto the process either through wearing a heat cap or plastic this is to further soften further hydrate your hair to leave it feeling soft and hydrated okay so now we are going to move on to products that i use for moisturizing my hair this is the Cantu leave-in conditioner i am almost out now this leave-in conditioner is the girl that she thinks that she is, okay? 
I love this leave-in conditioner so much. It says that it provides intense moisture, leaving hair soft and manageable. And I'm telling you, there is no lie there. This has been my all-time fave. I love this leave-in conditioner and I would recommend it for someone who doesn't want to get a lot of product. You know, and you just want to get that one product that is just going to do the job for you. This is the leave-in for you. Also use this sheer butter moisturizing hair cream from monarch cosmetics now this depends on um on how my hair feels on a particular day right if i feel like my hair is extremely dry i then do use this too like both the cantilever conditioner and this one but on days when i feel like my hair just needs a little bit of moisture um, I do use the leave-in conditioner alone. I could use also this as a sealant because this sort of has that uh, that oily consistency. So the shea butter is very thick. Using it alone on hair also works because I tend to get a lot of product build up if I've used if I've mixed it with other other products. We are going to move on to the products that I use for styling my hair. This is the Afri True um curl cream so this is when i want to bring out the curls um to define my curls in my hair and depending on the hairstyle that i do of course sometimes i just even used to uh, i use this to hydrate my hair when i want to achieve a slick look but without using any gel on my hair because this is very hydrating another styling product that i use is this gel the eco styler gel so this is the olive oil one. I feel like out of all the Eco Styler gels, this one is the one that is very hydrating. So I love this one for that. If I could get a product that works exactly like this, I actually would. Eco Styler gel is so expensive, guys. You. Uh -uh. So now we're going to move on to oils that I use to seal my hair and oils that I also use on my scalp. So this is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. That I use the consistency of it is very thick right I mean thin it's a very light oil so I use light oils on my scalp because I don't want to clog my pores so that becomes a problem when it comes to um, actually growing your hair when you you want to make sure that your pores are open and they're free to let your hair breathe another oil that I use on my scalp is this one by MPL this is my favorite of all times this hydrates my hair this gives me volume okay i think i don't know what it is about this oil but this oil is just it does everything for me so i also use this on my scalp because it's not a heavy oil right so my hair can take it you want to be careful with the oils that you use um you don't want to use heavy oils in your scalp like i said um because they might clog your pores okay I do use this black castor oil by MPL to seal in my ends and just to moisturize my hair. Now, this one is very thick. What I don't want to do is use this on my scalp. So I use this only on my hair. Um, this is another oil that I use only just on my on my hair. It helps stop breakage, split ends, and dryness. This is by African Pride. I also use this to seal in moisture on my spray hair. bottle you can use to put water to hydrate your hair. Hair's best friend is water, okay? No matter how much of moisturizers you can use, how much of butters and hair creams you can use, for as long as you don't give your hair water, your hair is not going to grow well. So those are moisturizers. They don't hydrate your hair. They moisturize your hair. Right? There's a difference. So what I like about this is that as well, you can also make a sort of a... A hair mixture you can mix water with your conditioner and your favorite oils and spread it into your hair to keep it uh hydrated moisturized and just to keep your hair soft okay to comb and style my hair i use a wide tooth comb okay you want to use a wide tooth comb on your hair so that you don't actually break your hair our hair is very very coily and kinky and i do believe that um a comb with Amazonia that are very closer together is only good for straight hair. When it comes to our hair, you need to use a wide tooth comb. I know that 
we grew up using this tool because I mean it's called an afro comb, but even this comb is not is not that good because the teeth are not that far apart. You need to get yourself a wide tooth comb, right? If you want a comb and you want to detangle your hair, I do highly recommend this to have minimal hair breakage, actually even no breakage at all. This does not cause any harm to your hair. My brush that I use for detangling my hair is this one. I want to show you the bristles. I know the brush is a bit dirty. I'm sorry. See the bristles of this brush. This brush is the best brush I've ever gotten. I'm so happy with this brush and I highly, highly recommend it. I got this from Checkers. I've seen it at Discam as well. I'm not sure if Clicks has this, but I think it does. So I can get this in a Clicks or just can. And Checkers also has this. So another brush that I also use to detangle my hair is this one. Okay. I'm going to link down their Instagram handle below. So I use this brush um, to style my hair, right? So the bristles of this brush are pretty close together. So when it combs my hair, it sort of it sort of puts the hair together. So this is when I want to achieve like a sleek look. So to lay down your edges, um, you can use an old toothbrush. This is what I use. And to tie down my hair, when I'm styling my hair, I do use bobby pins. So this is a bobby pin focus, yes. So I use this to tie down my hair, um, obviously depending on um, the hairstyle that I've been doing on that particular day. And I do use wool as well to tie down my hair or when I want to stretch my hair out. It is highly recommended that you use setting material on your hair either your pillowcase if you're sleeping with your hair out or a certain bonnet a certain scarf or a duke our hair tends to lose moisture quite easily um, and especially if it is stretched out okay i use this certain bonnet it is reversible i'm going to leave down um the Instagram handle of um, the brand that I got this from. Those are all the hair products that I use on my hair and the tools that I use to style and prepare my hair and to make sure that my hair is manageable. The most important thing is that you get a hair routine. You can get any of this product, of course, but I just wanted to share my hair routine with you that you know that, say, if you have very dirty hair, um, you can't use, like, you'll need to use a clarifying shampoo, for instance. So you can get any of this product that I have just shown you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until my next video, bye.